Within accounts receivable, you will end up at some point in the month printing finance charges or creating finance charges and then printing the resulting statements. To do statements and finance charges, uh, you're going to go down through the AR menu. You just select finance charge. If you move this date back, say that it was the end of the month of November, you're going to make that finance charge calculation at the end of the month as 11-30-19. You can do some variations here, but typically it is change the date to the end of the month and then minimum charge, say a dollar, and then you select generate. Yes, you can go in and automatically apply credits. You can include previous finance charges in that calculation of today's finance charge. You can exclude customers with a zero balance, that being that they have credits which balance against invoice, resulting in a zero balance. And you would probably do that. The number of days past due would be a grace of two or three days past due so that you don't pick up on immediate finance charges for someone being one day late or zero days late. But normally, this is the statement date as of the end of the month. And normally it's probably a dollar or so as a minimum charge. And then you go to generate. The system in the top right will generate the finance charges, and then present to you a preview list of those finance charges which it's going to apply. If you uncheck, say the Anderson account, it's not going to create a finance charge this time. If you desire to, you know, you, you're in this time, in this position all the time unchecking the Anderson because you don't want a finance charge. If that's true, then go to the customer account and change the finance charge to zero or a portion of what the normal finance charge is. So the point here is you can uncheck those that you do not want to have a finance charge this time created for. You could print that list out showing you this listing of what's been checked and not checked. You could take that to your customer file list, look up the Anderson account and change their finance charge to zero or a portion of. And this gives you, that report would give you a working list to go and edit. So you can do it one time. So once reviewed and checked and unchecked as required, selecting continue will then generate finance charges for the indicated checked accounts. Select yes. The system will then generate finance charges. It's not gonna print a piece of paper no need to and then it's going to um, next allow you then to go print the statement so once this finishes off it'll be just a, a moment here we have a generated generation of 139 invoices for the indicated amount selecting ok returns you to the main menu